At Hackeye, we tell stories about coastal science. And to do that, we need quality footage of life in our oceans here in British Columbia. For our team of experts, that means freezing cold winter dives, tricky conditions, and of course, a few adventures along the way. This year, we're taking you behind the scenes as we plan and execute a trip to Quadra Island, where we spend a few days collecting underwater footage in Discovery Passage. Feels like we've been planning this trip for quite a long time now, and we're finally here on Quadra. We're gonna be diving Discovery Passage all week. Can't wait to see what's in store. The first day we left Kwathiaski Cove and it was howling northwest. It had been blowing southeast for days and then the weather switched around and it started to blow from the northwest, which was great because it meant we had sunlight, um, which is always awesome underwater. Um, but it also meant that topside, the people in the boats had to deal with pretty strong wind. Your first dive is always to kind of test out your equipment, make sure all your dive gear is working, make sure your camera gear is working. What's up? I need to get on the boat for a minute. I made a classic mistake and didn't test my camera before I took it underwater and I was unable to turn it on. You suck the air out with a vacuum pump and it closes everything nice and tight. But I've done it twice this morning and it uh, keeps leaking so I'm not really sure where the leak is coming from. We were using new communications for underwater that were challenging to use. So this is my tether that goes up to the surface. How I'm able to talk, and you guys can hear me on the surface, so you might regret that soon. But it was pretty cool because we dropped down, and immediately I saw this behavior that I hadn't really seen before. It sounds like Tom is just getting a lot of. Uh... Oh, here's a little one. Kind of curious about the dough. <laughs> Finding a lot of greenlings. And... Oh, there's another <laughs> greenling. Just did the same feeding behavior where it stuck its nose down into the sand. On day two. We really got into the flow of things and targeted a number of more challenging dive sites that have lots of current. We're gonna dive at April Point Lodge. I've never dove there, I've heard it's amazing diving, so I'm excited to dive there. But the reason there's so much life is because there's tons of current flowing through there. It's just an explosion of life. Into the water we go. We're under the surface now. Another beautiful dive. Nice. Yeah, lots and lots of life. We saw a little grunt sculpin, which is just this, it's this like absurdly cute little fish about this long that kind of uses its pectoral fins to walk along the bottom. We've just finished up and we're headed to the other side of Quad Island. Um, right now we're in the channel, Discovery Channel, and there's lots of current and pretty amazing dive sites here. But we can only dive these sites at slack tide. So now we have five hours until our next slack tide. So we're going to run around to the other side of the island where we don't have to worry about current. I got footage of a beautiful big um, sunflower star, a Pycnopodia. Um, which were impacted heavily with the wasting disease a few years ago, and we see very few of them around here. So yeah, it's always cool when we come across those. On day three, we went to a few more challenging, diverse dive sites right off the start. What's up, Derek? Day three, here we go. Day three now is when we hit our stride. Day three is when all the kinks are worked out and we're dialed. At Whiskey Point, at about 25 meters, it levels off. You get a big boulder field down there. It was a very relaxed dive. Not a lot of current. We nailed the timing. So this is perfect. The tide feels like it's pretty much slack right now. I was absolutely like, I was blown away by how colorful it was. Too bad that I'm restricted by the amount of air I have. <laughs> Could have stayed down there longer. Yeah, <laughs> I'd stay down there all day. It's just endlessly fun being able to capture video of what's down here. We had a late start today, 9 a.m. Um, got a little bit of rain coming in, but we're going back out. We're gonna try to find some wrecks, maybe. We're at Mott Island, and at Mott Island, they sunk a boat ship called the Columbia. 
And it's sitting right below where Ryan is parked right now. It's a really impressive looking ship. What an amazing dive that was. Later that day, we went back to Argonaut Wharf. It's a pretty cool place. There's a lot of current that flows through, and it's a wharf, so there's these pillars, these piers that, that come down, and they're just covered in life. Lots of anemones all up the pillars. Just life everywhere. It's a, it's a really cool sight. It's also quite creepy when you're down there in the, at night time. The thing with the night dive is obviously, as dark as it gets on the surface at night, it's just that much darker underwater. But the cool thing is, different creatures will come out at night. And so we will get some different critters on this dive than we've been seeing earlier in the week. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is May Island, and there's actually an old BC Ferries wreck just around the corner. Oh, the light is just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah the wreck is really cool. The sunlight streaming through all the framing. So it's quite cool. One thing that people who are just getting into underwater photography or videography might be interested to hear is that a lot of the stuff you're going to shoot when you're down there is going to be garbage. It's really challenging for many different reasons. So would you consider this week a, a success, would you say, or would you have wanted Another week. Or... <laughs> I always want another week. <laughs> I think this week was totally a success. I mean, we got five solid days of underwater filming. We had mostly good weather. And everybody's packed up and heading home now. I have tons of footage, like terabytes and terabytes of footage to look through. So we did what we set out to do. And I hope you guys will stick around and see what we came up with.